Brave Little Fairy by Priscilla Crider. Once upon a time, there was an old lady who lived in a house just beside the forest. The old lady was kind and caring, as she would always help anyone in need. The old lady had a beautiful garden where she grew many plants. There was one plant in particular which was very special. It produced magic seeds. One day, an evil wizard was passing by and he knocked on the door. Just before the old lady opened the door, he turned himself into a little boy. She invited the little boy in and asked him if he was lost. The boy said, I'm looking for my brother. He ran into the forest and I can't seem to find him. The old lady decided to go look for the boy's brother. While she put on her coat, the evil wizard cast a spell on her so that she would never find her way back home. She kept looking everywhere for the little boy's brother. He was nowhere to be found and she got lost. After walking for miles, she found a tent set up ahead. Suddenly, a fairy came flying out of the tent. Why do you look so sad? asked the fairy. I can't find my way home, cried the old lady. Come and warm yourself by the fire and have some food to eat, said the fairy. Thank you for your kindness, said the old lady. As they sat by the fire, the old lady told the fairy what had happened. The fairy could see that there was a magic spell cast upon the old lady. So she decided to help undo the wizard's evil spell. In the meantime, the wizard was looking around for the magic seeds. He needed it for a much bigger spell to take over the entire forest. He finally found the special plant that produces the magic seeds. However, he needed to knock on the little door of the plant and answer one riddle in order to get those seeds. Knock, knock. Answer this riddle. I am a feeling expressed by words. I can cause the greatest happiness or the deepest sorrow. What am I? Hmm, what could this be? wondered the evil wizard. The wizard thought about it for a long time, then shouted out many answers, but none of them were correct. He started to get furious. Back in the forest, the fairy managed to lift the evil spell and the old lady could remember where she lived. So she made her way back home after thanking the fairy for her kindness. The fairy had a feeling that the evil wizard would still be lurking around somewhere. So. She decided to make sure that the old lady was safe.
as the old lady entered her home, the evil wizard shut the door with his magic staff. He brought the old lady back to the garden to answer the riddle. The old lady was so afraid. I am the protector of this magic plant. Only the purest of heart could answer this riddle, cried the old lady. The wizard was so angry, he tied an invisible rope around the old lady. Suddenly, he heard a knock on the door. Is everything okay? asked the fairy. The wizard had an idea. I could make this person behind the door answer the riddle and I can finally get my magic seeds, thought the wizard. He opened the door and captured the little fairy. Then he took her to the magic plant, knocked the little door on the plant and answered the riddle, shouted the wizard. The little fairy didn't know what to do. She had to listen to the evil wizard. Knock, knock, answer this riddle. I am a feeling expressed by words. I can cause the greatest happiness or the deepest sorrow. What am I? Love, the fairy answered. Immediately after she answered the riddle, there were stars all around the magic plant. It opened the door and produced the magic seeds. The little fairy had a plan. She quickly grabbed the magic seeds and used it to cast a spell on the evil wizard. The evil wizard was sent far away in the middle of the desert. The old lady thanked the brave little fairy once again for helping her. They never heard from the evil wizard again. The End